Hey everyone, thanks for joining me on this problem where we get to apply our probability skills to a real world situation. So in this case, we have a soda company that puts a different symbol on the cap of every bottle. Mm -hmm. So the company is using six different symbols and we have a table that shows us the different symbols on the caps for 50 different bottles. Mm -hmm. So by looking at that table, we can see that some symbols come up much more often than others do. So we have to use that data from the table to find the probability that the next bottle cap will have either a green heart or a purple star. So in other words, if we pull one random bottle, what are the odds that that bottle has either the heart or the star as its symbol? So we want to express this probability as a fraction. So our numerator is what we want to get. We want to get either a green heart or a purple star. And our denominator is all the possible outcomes, in this case, the six different symbols. And remember that the table shows 50 different caps. So if we add up the occurrences for all six of those symbols, our total will be 50. So 50 is going to go in our denominator. Now, as for just the green heart, we know that that occurred 15 times out of the 50. And as for the purple star, that symbol occurred five times out of the 50. Now, when we say or, that means that we are cool with either a green heart or a purple star. Either one is fine. So we want to add those two numbers together, whose sum, 15 plus 5, is 20. So again, based on that data table, out of the 50 different bottles with different symbols on them, 20 of them had either a green heart or a purple star. So now we want to translate this into probability, and we can do that by simplifying the fraction 20 over 50, which we can do pretty easily by canceling out those zeros, because we know that 20 over 50 is equivalent to 2 over 5, which is the probability that the next bottle that you pick will have a symbol of either a green heart or a purple star. <laughs> cool. Which is a probability of less than 50%, so the odds are against you there. And uh, that's all there really is to this one. We are all finished, and thank you again for stopping by, guys. If you want to see more of our animated YouTube lessons, click the link below to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If not, do absolutely nothing. See ya.